The AIM-174B gunslinger is one of the U.S. Navy's most significant recent advancements in long-range air-to-air and multi-role missile capabilities. It represents a unique adaptation of the Navy's standard Missile 6 SM-6 modified for air launch from carrier-based aircraft. The program was developed to fill a critical capability gap, the absence of a true very long-range air-to-air missile after the retirement of the AIM-54 Phoenix in 2004. By leveraging the proven SM-6 airframe and guidance technologies, the Navy was able to rapidly field a missile capable of engaging targets at distances previously unachievable from fighter aircraft. Officially named Gunslinger in 2025, the AIM-174B first entered service in July 2024 with Carrier Air Wing 2 aboard the USS Carl Vinson. It was subsequently deployed with Carrier Air Wing 5 aboard the USS George Washington, forward positioned in Japan. These deployments reflect the U.S. Navy's focus on enhancing reach and survivability in the Indo-Pacific, where long-range threats from adversaries such as China are driving a renewed emphasis on standoff weaponry and distributed lethality. The AIM-174B is launched from the F-A-18E F Super Hornet, the Navy's current frontline multirole fighter. Though relatively heavy at around 1,900 pounds and over 15 feet long, the missile can be integrated into Super Hornet loadouts without excessive performance degradation. Photos from test and operational squadrons have shown aircraft carrying one to four of these missiles on underwing stations, often in combination with shorter-range air-to-air missiles like the AIM-120 AMRAAM and AIM-9X. In terms of performance, the AIM-174B is capable of speeds up to Mach 3.5 and uses a standard SM-6 guidance package that includes inertial navigation, mid-course datalink updates, and terminal active or semi-active radar homing. While the Navy has only confirmed a range exceeding 130 nautical miles, credible estimates suggest actual performance could exceed 300 to 400 kilometers depending on altitude, speed at launch, and flight profile. This significantly outranges known adversary missiles like the Chinese PL-15 and PL-21, giving U.S. carrier air wings a powerful long-range interception capability. The missile's warhead is a conventional 140-pound blast fragmentation type, designed to destroy fast-moving airborne targets with a focused explosive radius. Despite some online speculation, there is no confirmed evidence or official documentation supporting claims that the AIM-174B employs a novel area effect or volumetric warhead. Its lethality is based on proven kinetic and fragmentation effects, refined through years of SM-6 development and testing. Beyond air-to-air -air combat, the AIM-174B retains the SM-6's secondary functions, including anti-ship and limited ballistic or hypersonic missile defense roles. This makes the missile uniquely versatile, one of the few in existence that can strike enemy aircraft, ships, and some missile targets. This flexibility supports emerging U.S. Navy operational concepts such as Distributed Maritime Operations DMO, where long-range weapons and data sharing enable disaggregated platforms to strike effectively across vast distances. One of the most powerful features of the AIM-174B is its integration into the Navy's networked sensor and targeting architecture. Within the Naval Integrated Fire Control Counter Air NIFCCA, system, an F-A-18 carrying the missile does not need to detect or track a target on its own radar. Instead, it can receive queuing and targeting data from other assets, such as an E-2D Advanced Hawkeye, F-35C Stealth Fighter, or even surface warships, launch the missile in a beyond line of sight engagement, and allow the missile to home in on the target based on mid-course updates and its onboard radar. This enables multi-platform, distributed kill chains that are far more survivable and harder to counter. Operational testing and evaluation are still ongoing as of mid-2025, but the missile is no longer experimental. It has been integrated into the loadouts of operational squadrons, including those forward deployed in the Indo-Pacific theater. U.S. Navy statements and public appearances, such as the May 2025 display in Japan, suggest the missile is being treated as a key component of high-end air warfare scenarios. The AIM-174B gunslinger is a transformational capability for U.S. naval aviation. It extends the Navy's ability to engage enemy assets far beyond previous limits, reintroduces a critical long-range kill chain capability that had been missing since the AIM-54, and does so using a design derived from a proven missile platform. Its multi-mission flexibility, long-range reach, high speed, and integration into modern networked combat systems make it a valuable asset for deterrence and combat effectiveness, especially in contested environments like the Western Pacific.
While testing and doctrine are still evolving, the missile is now a real and deployed part of the U.S. arsenal.